Hi, I'm Lisa K. Donner, along with Sarah Cowgill, Andrew Moran, Jeff Charles, and Scott Cosenza. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. Does anyone else have that one family member or friend that is pretty near impossible to shop for? What do you give that person who has everything? For example, Omaha steaks to say Andrew, a vegan, might cause a teensy weensy problem. Well, we've got the coolest Christmas gifts for 2022 coming up in this week's Just For Fun. Sheesh, the panel had issues with this one. I'm going to go first because I am the boss lady. I don't know. I was just totally enticed with this one thing. Aww. I can't do that, though. If I adopt a three-toed sloth, I'm going to have the three-toed sloth living in my house. Well, that, this guy just enchanted me. $60 to the World Wildlife, World Wildlife Fund face. to adopt a three-toed sloth and you know they're very sweet they eat flowers they love to hug you know i i can't resist a soft little animal and some people actually do adopt them but i don't know it's either the three-toed or the two-toed i'm not not exactly sure but anyway he just captured my heart and what better thing to seems do? like it could be a scam do they give do, do they allow multiple adoptions for each one? Not only I you own, would be you would be skeptical <laughs> of the world humbug taking my money. Only you would be skeptical of that. <laughs> All right, Debbie Downer. Scott. Audit the WWF. Listen. <laughs> okay, Lord. Jeffrey. What's your Christmas gift of 2022? Really cool. Yeah, so with the ongoing threat of AI, like we've discussed before, and the San Francisco Police Department weaponizing robots. Surrender now. In the future, every red-blooded American is going to need to obtain the means by which they can defend themselves. What better way than your very own lightsaber? Yes, a lightsaber. When the, when the government starts sending the droids and troopers after your loved ones, they will be able to successfully defend themselves against these enemies using a weapon that can cut through almost anything. When you're, when you're facing an onslaught of robots, droids, spaceships, a Smith & Wesson ain't gonna cut it. You need a lightsaber. That's why Luke Skywalker is still, was still alive in, in, into his old age, because he had his very own laser sword that he could use to cut down any and any threat. Well, actually, that the, the whole lightsaber is, is is an impossibility. If you if you read uh, Physics of the Impossible by Michio Kaku, scientists actually try uh, you know hypothesize that. And the problem is you can't contain the 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 size and and, and force of a lightsaber into a you know a little tiny stick. So I that's think only that, because they haven't dis uh, discovered kyber yet. crystals yet that you can put into the hilt that makes the lightsaber. So yes, maybe with today's technology, they might think that. But George Lucas was on to something. Those movies were documentaries. So basically, Jeff, you're not going to give anybody a gift. You're just going to send an IOU for a lightsaber whenever the hell that ever happens. Is hey, that you, what you're going to do? You, you don't know what I have in store, sister. All right. Now that we violated every copyright law, just kidding. <laughs> Andrew, what do you got for us? First, what we have here is an elegant equestrian outfit for the lovely Miss Sarah Cowgill. We all know her two passions in life, riding horses and writing for LibertyNation.com. In a sense, this ensemble is passion meets fashion. On the one hand, Miss Sarah Cowgill can ride her beautiful horses in the rural areas of Indiana. On the other, she can hop off her horses and head straight to her computer to type up the latest breaking news in the heartland. It is a perfect outfit for all occasions and one that will make all the other ladies in the heartland jealous. But who are we kidding? Sarah's beauty, brawn, and brains already make her the envy of the Hoosier state. The retail price, $24.99. Oh, Sarah, I, I think what you're looking, looking mighty here? sharp, yeah. though, friend. You know, I'd wear that. See, I've been through the desert. Isn't that a little more no English name? than it is Western? Just saying. Oh, I've 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 written English. I've, I do both. I do I do anything that's comfortable. <laughs> well, Talking. I think Sarah might like this Christmas present. I, I wouldn't I mind think it I do, either, right? even though I don't I ride do horses. Like All right. Second, Sarah. this is the perfect gift for Miss Lisa Donner. 
Anyone who knows Lisa will tell you she has a flair for interior decorating. But as I learned this just this morning, she is also a techie. So why not combine both the Rockwell Turbo and Cabulator, an electro me uh, electromechanical machine that can wow your dinner guest? Uh -huh. This is an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. For anyone who loves interior decorating in tech, <laughs> this is perfect for Miss Lisa Donner. Retail uh, price, 55,000 Hungarian forints. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, Andrew, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is just because Charles Schultz's birthday just passed, but when you were talking, all I heard was wah, 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 wah. I didn't understand a word of it. You know, you know, Lisa, if, if, if you get that, then you don't have to pay me that much a year just to come cook for you. Sarah, I, I will trade you the jacket for the thingy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right, Sarah, your turn. Ah, uh, well, I have two. Um, what could be possibly better than to pull the stockings down on Christmas morning and dig around in there and pull out a wind-up possum to race with all your friends? Wind-up possum is the way to go. They can go down the dinner table. They can go across the floor. They can scurry about. They're the cutest little dang things, and they're like three ninety nine. So I think it's a a perfect gift for the family Christmas. My sloth might like that. Well, I might like to eat the them, but now I mean, you couldn't have found like a kitten or something. That's stinking cute. That's just really they're cute. cute. What is wrong with you? You're a Those monster. Things, you wind them up. Disgusting. You wind them up, and then they go. Oh, I think target practice. So uh, Sarah, so tell me we're I'm gonna. Down so down with it. got a recipe now, for possum. I, I have a that, second uh, gift, which is phenomenal, and it's it. It wasn't my idea, and I have to tell you a tiny little story. It was in Sarasota about a year ago, and I was in a very dark restaurant with Mister and Missus Donner. I can see where my contact because I kind of want to look like less of a nerd <laughs> and I can't see to read the menu. And so I'm just going, yeah, oh, pizza. I'll just no, pizza. I know where you're going. <laughs> I can't read it. Oh. Uh, and so big daddy, Tim Donner whips out these glasses and puts them on. And I made so much fun of him. I thought I was going to lose my mind. And then he goes here, try them. So Let's take a look at those, Tim. I did. Oh, and they are a yeah. game changer. You can see anything in a dark restaurant. I have two pair of these. And everybody that I know that can't see like I can't, they're jealous of me. I think those are great gifts. And not because I bought Tim his first pair. But anyway, Scott, you are up next. The gift of free speech is the best gift I can think of, and uh, you can give that gift in the form of uh, Twitter blue check mark to your uh, <laughs> to your family and friends, and uh, that's my uh, that's my pick. It uh, it puts it, everybody on the official uh, uh, liberal blue check mark uh, in the back seat, and you can uh, tweet with abandon and enjoy all the new functionality that uh, Elon is bringing to the platform. All right, get your I already marks. got one. I wish I had an affiliate marks. code for it, but yes, uh, I better go. In, in any case, uh, get up Twitter. In spite of his uh, testiness with Apple recently, so far you can only buy that blue check mark with an Apple uh, device. So, oh uh, my goodness! Yeah, but I've Apple. already got one. I had it well, already before. It's a useless gift for you, Jeff, because you earned your blue check mark the old-fashioned way. It took me um, like nine months. Yes. Oh my well, gosh! Do you wear it on your lapel now? I should. He wears it everywhere. Yeah, he can. <laughs> well, from nifty wifty glasses to light swords to blue check marks, we've got you covered. Now you know how quirky the C5 bunch really is. Merry Christmas, guys. We'll see you all in 2023. See you next year. That's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, we're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, surf on over to libertynation.com. 
Special thanks to our fantastic editor and post coordinator, Frank DiOrio, and our executive producer, Sarah Calgill. I'm Lucy K. Donner, Editor-in-Chief. Thanks so much for joining us today. This has been a production of LibertyNation.com, where truth is making a comeback.